Uh, evening, chaps. Welcome to uh, episode number two of I am the Graph Chat now. And, um, and I must say, it's been a decent start. So if we, uh, if we, as we left it back in the last season, um, we went, we finished the year in first place, which is great. Uh, 72 points, which I think looking at the records was the highest score for a couple of years, uh, at least 10 years, I think, um, which was, which was nice, unexpected, but nice. Um, we got some good, some good awards uh, in terms of um, our assists. I don't, it's the other second this season. I don't season. Oh, okay. Can we watch that? Never mind. But yeah, but it was a good season. We had good fun, and uh, we overall we did we did fairly well. Um, a little bit concerned coming into this season because I thought we would struggle purely because there's we played the um, a lot of few. Uh, with the busy teams in the uh, cup last season and got spanked a few times. I was a bit worried we were going to get spanked every day of the week. So we, uh, as is expected, we made some pretty hefty changes. Um, we, uh, a lot of players left. A few players left, they were left behind the contracts. They all disappeared. Um, also managed to get rid of Carlos Sporger who came for a free last season. Uh, he's now, I was training him as a right mid, but he's just not as good of players, so he's gone. And also, this guy, I didn't want to sell Robert, um, but he's one of our better centre backs, but he's quite young. But he was worth 40k, and I kept me off of about 100k for him. So I was like, yeah, I'll just put him up. off to Cobbs at half million, and I got an offer for 300k. I was like, you know what, actually, I could do with the money. So he's gone, bye bye. And then we've gone in terms of bringing players in. Um, I think I was crap. Bring players in. We've got some decent players managed to get in on freeze. I've not managed to spend any money yet. Um, we've got Mirko Gilak, who who's come in. Who I think I sent a picture through. He's, he's been disappointing in his game so far. Nothing really of note other than a yellow card. Um, but in theory, is a good player. 16 acceleration, 16 pace, 15 finishing, 11 composure, um, and works hard. So a lot of time for him. Um, so I hope Orchestra will come good at some point. We brought in Yuri Baja, just a kind of a cheap free defender who's worth a bit of money, but tall, good heading. He's, at a, he's playing defensive mid currently for me. Nick Delange, uh, who's playing centre mid for us, just all round average guy, pretty strong, good battling, fairly creative for a centre mid in, in this league. So happy with that. He's done okay. Paulo Sergio in. <laughs> Immediately came in, I thought, yeah, great, yeah, solid defensive midfielder. Sticking into my tactic of whacking in defensive midfield, they can head back their goalies, free kick, the goal kicks, and we'll counter attack from that. Got injured straight away and lost a lot of skill, but uh, still, still good. Still going to slot into my defensive mid position, into midfield position. We've got Dirk van Struen, uh, who again, another free striker, um, pretty quick, not great in terms of finishing, but. This is what my thinking was. We could basically end up having to counter attack and try and outpace their, their team. So he's another option. Uh, I might just sell him at Christmas. Get a bit of money in for him. Um, Kenny Brazier, a bit like a, a, a poor man's Lukaku. You know, we're going back to early FM09 or FM11 or 12. Um, the right kind of style, style, shape, and some good finishing composure, a little bit slow, but came on a free. Um, so I'll give him a go. I'll get around the team at some point. I'm sure when my strikers get, get shot to pieces. This guy, absolute steal. Uh, came for a free deal with 1.2 million. He's fantastic at the back. He's done really well. Average rate at 7.6 so far. Um, absolute 19, absolute beast. German, like that. He'll be Portuguese. He'll be uh, with the Portugal squad, I'm sure, for the future. And he's generally pretty solid. So happy with him. Um, Gerrin de Fluen, again, on the free. Uh, he actually had a great game, got two assists uh, from the last game he was in. Training him as a left mid, um, not very well, he's not there yet. But um, creative, good at dribbling, crossing, a little bit of pace about him, and, and good on the ball. So he might be one to replace Jordi van der Gun. Uh, Marcio's come in as a centre back. Uh, he's had a few good games, actually. He's not technically amazing, but good at heading, good at tackling. Relatively decent, aggressive, which you want in a Brazilian centre back. And then Oscar Heron, who I've just brought in a right back just to kind of give some more cover there. Um, 
because my alert right backs are painfully, painfully slow, which means the team sits up like uh, this. So my goalkeeper, who was working on a free for the, all of last year, actually it's deal, um, has managed to sign a new contract. He's on seven grand a week um, with a pretty hefty appearance fee, but managed to keep him um, purely because I couldn't find another keeper as good as him, other than my subkeeper, who's not a, well, he's, he's, he's pretty decent. Um, but see nine goals in three games so far this season. In the non competitives, we've got Colin the Slart right back, uh, who's quite slow but solid defensively. Um, centre back's got Marcio and uh, Mayer, which is working okay so far. And then left back is Moskalenko, who's uh, stayed in the team from last season. We've got Yuri Bayer at defensive midfield, and he's going to be replaced by um, Oscar when he's. No, sorry, by Paolo when he's fit again. Casper, the friendly ghost, the emotional wreck, uh, is currently training to be a right mid. He's doing okay. He's got two goals so far this season. Uh, he's my top goal scorer. Um, came back from the summer, knackered after lots of games with Denmark, but I hope big plans for him for, for this year. Hopefully he can kind of pick up being a right mid and take to it well. Uh, Nick Delange, we've, we've seen, he's doing okay. Um, Garrett Fluen is is happy, I think. He's pleased with um, Lampy's comments, my, my assistant manager. And then I did go with the old faithful uh, Peter Hogpenis up front uh, in the last game with Paul De Vries, who is just generally pretty solid. He makes things happen. Um, although he's getting with it a bit slow and old. And then some decent options up on the bench in terms of Borisov, uh, who's just getting quite slow, and Sebastian Fall, who's quite slow but can make things happen, um, which is good. I've also completely overhauled my staff. I had like four people got promoted and they said actually I could have a few more so uh, brought in Erno Lampi uh, my assistant manager basically he's really good at motivating and he's good at tactical and kind of man management so got his first um, first staff gig but not a problem like, like him like him a lot I saw my coaching out as well so which means now if I go to training most of my training is now three and a half or four star which it wasn't last season so I'm hoping that I won't end up with a fuck ton of injuries. Um, well, I'm sure I will. That that many injuries. But anyway, if we look at our fixtures, that's not fixtures. That's finances. Oh, also, yeah, we sold all the money. So actually, we now might have money now because we've got two million pounds. You get two million pounds a year for the TV rights. So actually, always we were struggling. We're now looking with the black. We're still paying loans off, um, but we're in the black, which is nice. So well done, lads. Be frugal. Be frugal. And I think we're still in the way, I don't know, but as yeah, so the space I went from untouchable back of last season um, to secure <laughs> over the summer. So I a new four year deal, I went from untouchable to secure, which I thought was a bit of a slap in the face, but then might. But what that means is um, in the game so far, so we had a load of friendlies. I actually cancelled a few because I put too many in, but we got a fair bit of money, about 200k from, from those four friendlies. Um, didn't really pay much attention to those, my sister and I sorted it. But we've had a good start to the season. Unbeaten so far, we got um, a draw against uh, SC Heronveen. Uh, Paul Devries got his first goal. Um, and we got a draw against Heracles, where Casper scored um, his first goal of the season. We then beat FC Den Bosch away, which I was delighted with. Uh, Marcio and Casper getting the goals with them. And now we've just beaten NEC to at home with Peter Hogpenis, of course. And Vladimir Borisov getting the goals. Oh, we, we, we smashed them all over. I mean, we had 17 shots to that too. So um, thoroughly chuffed with that. And we're maxing our stadium as well. Our stadium was full at 12,600. So um, that was that was to, which was good. Which means actually four games in, and we are third. Uh, the Minnows are third. The board said, "What would you like to do in terms of expectations for the season?" Um, I went for we will avoid relegation. Um, Purely because it gave me another 10 grand. Um, you could have chose that might get relegated as one of the options, but I thought I'll give myself something to aim for. And I'll reset it during the season. But uh, if you finish bottom, you get relegated. If you finish in these two yellow spaces, then you go into a relegation playoff, which I don't really fancy. But from the look of it, these two guys are pretty crap. Um, so hopefully one of them will go down and I can kind of, I think, mid table. Perhaps, you know, between kind of 10th and 15th overall, I think I'll have a good start. And then, but I know, VVV, IX, 20, that's a good final of P2 
PSV. There's some good teams in this league. Um, so we'll see how that goes. Um, so yeah, good okay so far. In terms of Aves, they are uh, they've sold everybody. There's no one left. <laughs> There's literally, I mean, is there even a squad there now? There's yeah, I don't know how many players they've got. Not many. Um, a lot of injuries. Internationals. They're, they're buying lots of young players, but but they've sold anyone who's any good, which is a real shame, really. Um, this guy, it makes me really appreciate how good my team was playing for De Graffiat because I didn't realise how good some of his players were, but yeah, he's not very good. That was another example. Um, future Florin Albert, he's come on and loads since I've left. Stupid amount of pace. Uh, I don't know, totally, he's gone. It's a shame he was there for years. Future Mike Peters, absolute god, 21 years old. Future Sergio Salvatore, again, just amazing. Luke Elby, amazingly. Future Flavio, he's gone. He's a decent keeper. Um, yeah, which is a real shame. Uh, and then in terms of last season, on the ones that left, 65 million last season that left. Future Mario Cissé, good centre back. Future Serge Dormard, yeah, he's a pick up. Kegri Oslo, he's going to be decent. Future Flavio left anyway. Uh, future Alexander Yagarov. Look at him. Look at him. He's 19. God, the fuck? I this club. Future Joaquin Lopez Gomez. Again, I kill for him now. I would, I would I would do terrible, terrible things to get him on my team now. Future Bradley King. Beast. Absolute beast. I'm going to Leicester. Um, Bilo Zivanovic. Again, I, pff, to have him now be incredible. He'd be insane in the Ukraine. Another solid player, future Mike Peters. You will see him. Carlos Avalon, Wonder Kid. Who was Wonder Kid? Gone. Martellino, gone. He, he was there for years. That's a real shame. He was there. He was there. He was a backup player. For, yeah, for donkey's years. Uh, and we'll just look at while we're here. Martellino's <laughs> his shoot goals going for Aves. 349 games, 350 goals. Doesn't include League Cup matches either. Um, so goals per season for me, 0, 3, 51, 56, 60, 54, 44, 49, 39, 49, 55, 34. Absolutely insane. Um, Soran Gordon, yeah, he's going to be decent. Anderson, no, he's crap. And Pablo, oh, he was a legend. I had him on a free. What a god. So yeah, shame to see them all tear the club apart. Um, but, you know, what, uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Tom Dobson is a beast. Absolutely. Look at him. Look at him. Paul Dickens. Andrew Guerrero, he's amazing. Look at him now. He's ridiculous now. God, God. TT, all this work I've put into this squad over, literally, I've played this game at uni, it must be, what was that, 2011, nine years, and gone, all gone. Poof. This is Laros. Uh, also, this one I have, in terms of signing players, um, I can't get anyone good, because <laughs> even the players I can, I can, Afford with a 160k transfer budget I've got from selling my uh, centre back. All the good Brazilians have wages like seven, eight k straight away, and I can't afford that much in wages. Um, I think I've got two guys on seven k because he had a match high earner clause. The rest of them on three eight, and then my reserves or call it reserves on. That's true. I'm not really. I've got them left. And the nine teams are all f- fucking useless. Oh, actually, let me go back there. Is he any good? Mm, I mean, not really. Is he worth half a million pounds? No. If I'm offering that, will I sell him? Absolutely, yes. So, um, so yeah, that's where we are. It was exciting. Have a quick look at the Premier League. Uh, so I can't play a game because they won't record the sound. But, um, what's the Premier League these days? Oh, okay. Sorry. 
So I'll go to this. Okay, and now, that's not what I want. England. Ah. Also, I applied for a Holland job and haven't got back to me yet, which I'm a bit offended by. Uh, in terms of the leagues in England, how on earth do I look at that? Arsenal, it's just, okay, Premier League. So, uh, last year, City won the Cup. Bank of Ireland, Sheffield Wednesday, Leicester all relegated. South End up there, hanging on the Premier League. Um, that's the one really of interest. Uh, championship, QPR, Bob Southampton, Swindon in the Championship. Well, that's Swindon, doing okay. Oxford, Notts County, Doncaster. Um, Bournemouth, Newcastle in League One. Barnet, go on Barnet. Grimsby, Lee, Lee. The Oval, Wickham, Millwall, Notts Forest. Uh, and then all the League Two teams are Plymouth, Lowell, Charlton, sorry Sam. Um, and yeah, and the FA Cup. And then there was the World Cup in the summer, which Portugal lost, which I was disappointed by, because I set them up to win that. Maybe. <laughs> Season summary, if it says, oh, Teco, is he now? He's still out of us. Yeah. Look at him. Look at him. And he's 40k a week as well. Oh, God, there's my players are absolute wank. Um, yeah. What does it say? What does it say, is there? Yeah. Is it a good point? Does it see a history of like, information awards? No, it doesn't for the club. Okay, history. World rankings. Oh, yeah, there you go. Runner up, 2030. That was me. And they were finished in the semis this year. Right? Or quarterfinals. Landmarks. Uh, yeah, it is. I'm a landmark. Records. Don't know what that really means. Yeah, I'm just waffling now. But yeah, Carlos Cruz. Legend. Where's he now? He's a beast. 30 caps, 23 goals. Okay, yeah, no, so I'm off and on. But yes, yeah, so that's that's where we are. Um, excited for the season ahead. In terms of fixtures, we probably will struggle a little bit. Uh, we've got some decent teams, so final 20 VV all in one go, that could be tough. Ajax, actually, those four games could be really tough. Um, but I think we've got enough. We can gonna get to 30 points for the season. That probably does. Because if we look at the from the years before, 15 points got relegated, 29 29 in the relegation zone, 31 26 21, 33 31 24, 28 20, 28. So right, if we can get 35 points, 10 wins, we've got two already. Well, then with six, 12 wins, good master. 12 wins from 34, you know, that would, that would do us safe. And then I could try and hopefully get some more budget for selecting more players over the year to try and um, try and get some decent wingers in because currently we have makeshift wingers. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Good to speak to you both. Hope you're both well. Hope you enjoyed the update. And I'll see you soon. Cheers. Bye. Stop recording. <laughs>